cheapo. Easter. Yes, it's Easter time again, which means I've been off to Poundland and bought some stuff. Would you like to see it? I do hope so, because you clicked on this video, and frankly, that's what you're going to get. Let us begin with this four pack of... Let us begin with this four pack! <laughs> <laughs> we refuse to tell you what this four pack is. Its mystery must remain unknown. Marvellous. Well, I'm guessing animals in the shape of eggs, because that's quite clearly what these are. So, bright orange cat, just like real life. Cute looking dog thing. It's a bird. It took me a while to work that one out. We'll come back to that. And what I thought was a dog, but I've literally just noticed, I don't know if you can make it out on camera, there are two massive white teeth coming out of the mouth, so it's supposed to be some sort of rabbit or hare. Fair enough, right. <clears throat> Let's pull them out of their plastic coffin and see what we can see. Okay. No, it's not coming out. It's, it's completely deleted. There, we've done it. Oh, now I just wish we'd left them in there. Because they've got, like, weird feet and stuff. So, the cat sat on the mat with all his hairs of glue and strands all over it. So the cat's feet appear to be Mickey Mouse, which is interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Um, also, one of the ears is, is quite wonk on that. But overall, yeah, that's all right. I see where they're coming from with this. Um, you can see it more clearly if it focused. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's orange, but it's fine. The dog, um, looking like a sort of shredded Mickey Mouse. Um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's cute enough. Again, the ears are a bit wonk. It's not a massive problem. Quite a lot of... Uh, glue hair on it, but we'll ignore that. Lovely, lovely. Then the bird. The bird. So, <clears throat> just to point this out, uh, that is its beak, the yellow bit, and that is its nose, and there's its eyes, you see. I thought it was some sort of creature that was asleep, and it was drooling yellow stuff. Do you see where I'm coming from with this? It's not just me, is it? It looks like something out of an Adventure Time or something. Anyway, I give that no points, because I couldn't tell it was a bird for quite some time. And finally, what apparently is a rabbit because of the teeth surely i mean i can barely see them in this light i'm sure they're probably not showing up on camera at all but um in case they are they're around here um are these these ears doing the these don't really look like uh, well i suppose they're flopsy rabbit ears i'm very confused by this look they're not traditional easter things random creatures let's get with something more traditionally easter easter wizards you see you can't think of easter without thinking of wizards i honestly thought these were like in the wrong area or something but now you got the carrots that it was in the easter area and it's another anonymous four pack this one's got your eggs this one's got your carrots right <clears throat> so we've got four wizards because reasons um their hats kind of just look like weird tiaras or maybe something growing out of their eyes i don't know i'm slightly worried by that so we've got green blue pink and orange and two different hat styles between them we should give them all names for our traditional easter wizards uh this one can be gargle flax in focus gargle flax there we go this one can be visrael this one can be spelinor and this one can be carrot boy <laughs> why is he carrying a carrot just to, they've got some sort of easter thing look he's got a carrot it must be easter carrots aren't easter wizards aren't easter what is going on is there anywhere in the world where some sort of Easter tradition involves wizards? Or are they supposed to be gnomes? Oh my god, they're not gonks again, are they? Is this an Easter gonk collection? Hang on. No, it doesn't say anywhere on it. it just says produced by PLDZ. Fair enough. Um, that's a shame. We're going to assume they're egg gonks. They're not wizards at all, they're egg gonks that have come from the planet of the gonks to steal your chocolate eggs and replace one in four of them with carrots i don't know i don't know look look get the rabbits out the rabbits this makes sense little cute pom-pom bunny rabbits oh oh i can't get the package open this is going to be a problem no no it's all good out you come you're not coming out okay come out this method then my goodness i've really destroyed the packaging on this one. Oh, they're stuck in Arrgh, there we are great all glued to the bottom so i quite like these they are quite cute in their way let's let's remove one Oh. Oh yeah, they are literally glue. <laughs> okay then. So, <clears throat> let's have a look at Pom Pom the rabbit. I mean, it looks kind of like a rabbit. You've got the ears, you've got the eyes, you've got the, the uh, round cotton tail. 
I think that's absolutely fine. I think these are one of the nicer things they've done for Easter for a while, actually. You can put it on your Easter cake, and then you'll get little strands of hair, um, this artificial hair in your Easter cake, and it'll get stuck in your teeth. So that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Mmm, lovely. Right, you sit down there. Whilst I get out something... See, I should have had this first and had it in the background, but you know what? I just couldn't be bothered with it. <laughs> it is the Easter tree, which is, yeah, apparently a thing these days. Bend into shape. No, you bend into shape. God, bloody rude. Eggs sold separately. It just occurred to me I haven't bought any decorations for it. This is going to be a very sparse Easter tree. <clears throat> right. Out you come. So you've got a heavy base. You've got a bit, bit of cloth stuff. And that. Okay, then. Um, this looks like one of those things in Elden Ring that you find a golden seed under, actually. Uh, okay, can we uh, move the camera up a bit there? Oh, wow. Such beauty. Such magnificence. Uh, uh. Oh, that's weird. The camera just moved down without me touching it. It has power, friends! Tell you what it also has. Jump cut. Make your own pom-pom bunny! I already did, I'll show you in a minute. Anyway, this is what it's supposed to look like. Contains character, by which I mean a bit of cardboard, pom-pom maker, by which they mean two bits of cardboard, string, by which they mean wool, and wool. Hang on, there wasn't any string in mine. I had to use a piece of wool. This is interesting. Tell us also interesting, it's got weird stains on it. Don't blame me, it was like it. I didn't notice in the shop. So yeah, what you really need is a two-dimensional rabbit with a three-dimensional pom-pom coming out of it, because that's Easter, everyone. Right, so the instructions weren't particularly clear. For instance, I couldn't actually work out the parts. The part seems to be missing where you, I mean, if you know this pom-pom uh, methodology, you basically wrap a load of wool round a cardboard donut and then cut round it and then tie a bit of string around the middle. They seem to have missed the part where you tie the bit of string around the middle. They also missed the string because I didn't get any of that. What I thought was that they were telling you to cut 25 centimetres off the end and use that to cut round the middle. This is weird. Also, that's not very clear. It looks like you're supposed to cut it into 25 centimetre strips, which would have been awkward and possibly not worked. I don't know, would that have worked? Well, it's too late to go back in time and try, because I've made this be Wait. By string, they mean a bit of string to hang it up with. Ah. Now it makes perfect sense, although it still wasn't included. Anyway, here's what mine looks like. Look, it kind of works. I don't know how they got that density. Look how rich and beautiful their pom-pom is. You couldn't manage that with the wool they gave you, surely. It's going to look more like this. There's the hole in his head when he was put out of his misery because apparently uh, he's been impregnated by a xenomorph and the chest burst has just come out. <coughs> Happy Easter, everybody. <coughs> That's my impression of a rabbit. Well, there we go. I mean, it was a quid, wasn't it? I think. Some of these things are two quid these days. Or even more! But I can't remember. We're going to say a pound, because frankly there wasn't a lot in the bag. But there we are. Keeps the kids quiet for five minutes until they're whining at you. I need you to cut it now and I'm not allowed to use the scissors. And all that kind of stuff. Right. <clears throat> Tell you what always makes Easter for me. My chick cape. <laughs> yes! It, it's like a, a hat with, with a cape, and it actually does it around the neck, but they're not showing you there. Allow me to demonstrate. Chick cape. So, um, there, there's the hat. That is a chick, everybody. You might be thinking it's a rejected Pokemon, but it's definitely a chick. Um, it's a bit of Velcro to go into the neck, and the cape to go over the shoulders. Unfortunately, I was far too large to actually uh, demonstrate this correctly, because it is, of course, made for children. So I ended up looking like some weird NPC out of a Japanese role-playing game. Anyway, it's Easter statue time! Look, everyone! It's kind of looks like a velveteen rabbit. Ah, there's a reference. I really like this. It's only a bit of wood with a bit of fabric on, obviously, but it's nicely done. Look, it's very pretty. And look at the other side. It's very, very similar, isn't it? Unfortunately, you have to make very sure that you have this against a wall, because when you look at it from the front, yeah. Not entirely sure what's going on there, but... Uh, <sighs> The horrifying sort of burnt, cauterized stitching down the middle is genuinely horrifying to look at. But from the side, 
It's so cute. Oh, look at him. Look at him. <coughs> look at him. Look at him. You go over there and we'll try and forget about how you look from the front as we bring out the classiest of all the decorations. The golden hair, kind of, on, on an egg. Um, has it laid, that egg? It must be bloody tired if it has. Um, yeah, this, this is an odd one. This, it's that thing that should look sort of um, simple and uh, you know paired back design all a bit simplified but instead because of the bright colors it seems i don't know like a weird trophy or something congratulations you have won the egg show please take your golden rabbit home so we don't have to look at it anymore but there we are it's all right for a couple of quid i mean if you particularly want something golden green egg shapes to put on your table at easter well you could do a lot worse when you could get one of those it's not even gold I mean, it is egg shaped though well you go over there as I bring out egg decks. Make your own egg decks. I think you mean make your own decorated eggs, and these are the decks or decorations you put on them. Because you're not making your own egg decks. Just bought a box full of them, mate. Contains card egg stand. Card egg stand. There's a password for you. Paints, gemstones, EVA. That's glue, in it? Shapes, paintbrush, and instructions. <gasps> Tremendous. So look at all these things you can decorate your eggs with. Look. There's... Uh, not as exciting as I thought it'd be, but okay. We've got instructions. Step one, paint your egg. Step two, let paint dry. Step three, next take the paper holder and secure using glue or tape to form a ring and place your egg in the holder. Four, secure the egg at the foam ribbon. Great typo there. Using glue or double-sided tape. Step five, finally decorate with gems and stickers. So, these are obviously the bits of cardboard your eggs sit in. Let's uh, test one out there. Yeah, there we go. Yep, you can sit an egg on that, folks. Uh, there's some bad paints you can paint your egg with, and a bad brush to do it with. That'll do the job, then. Here is, oh, look at this. Some absolutely tremendous stickiness. Yay. You, you got, like, shapes. More shape. all the shapes. Good God, a lot of shapes, actually. You're getting good value for money shapes-wise. And then some little gem-type things. Oh, lovely. Slight problem. I forgot to get the eggs to the polystyrene egg things to paint and decorate and we haven't got any actual eggs in the house so instead of eggs this year i'm going to decorate this giant weird ken doll based on a doctor who character who was like a human dalek or something and there we are the most eastery of all images look he's got bunny ears and and a beauty spot and the soul patch and an easter uh, bow and an egg and a cracked egg with a dirty mark on it and a big cloud with a bee for bum what could possibly be more eastery the answer is some of these little jewel things stuck to him but unfortunately <sighs> They weren't sticky, and there isn't any glue given, so uh, he's just going to proffer you one with his hand. Take my gem. Nothing bad will come of it. <laughs> no, really, I just sound really sarcastic. Why do nobody take my gems? There's the answer. Because you got poked in the eye. So, that will do for Easter this year. Except, there is one last little bit of joy to look at. Oh, look, everyone. It's a character lamp. <clears throat> You know, one of those things that looks like it's made out of dried scabs. Um, well, I, I think it's supposed to be a bunny with an incredibly swollen cranium. How absolutely lovely. Let's... T oh. Hang on. <laughs> Where's the... Have I... I don't bloody believe it. Light up character. I've accidentally bought one without checking that the light bit was in it. God damn it. <laughs> What do I put inside it now? Ah, oh. well, there's only one thing for it. No, nope. oh, the wizard will do. Oh, look at that! <laughs> and if that isn't Easter, then well, you're right, frankly. Bye, boy, boy.